This is embarrassing. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy. Think went from zero to 60. <laughs> just parked but actually this is the earliest we've ever been to church because the service doesn't start till 10 and it's like 9 10 right now yeah. we're usually a little late that's bad that's yeah. bad but um i have hungry. no it's I not hunger close. i will usually Ready? sleep through hunger <laughs> it's i have jet lag uh, right now so that's true yeah i mean usually I'm the one to wake up in the morning and cause all the mayhem. <laughs> yeah, um, I woke up yesterday at 6.30 and then I woke up this morning at like 5.20, which mm -hmm. is a real shocker. I normally will sleep for several more hours. Oh. I, say, I say sleep while you can because it's good for you and you're not always going to be able to sleep for eight or nine hours per night so why not take advantage sure is it raining uh no going into daya takashimaya but everything's closed so the bakery's open right so yeah and then mcdonald's is open let's go and find some bread what are we gonna have <laughs> let's go and find out <laughs> Jason's is open as well. Oh yeah, Jason's is sort of like, um, it's only in department stores, right? Yeah. It's a grocery store that's only in department stores and it's pricey, but apparently you can get some things there that you couldn't get at more of the Asian style supermarkets. Like Baked Amar, beans, that's big for good Tim. cheese. <laughs> There's Jason's there. Hallowed ground, but expensive. Peck, yeah. Oh, we like peck. Mm, looks like they still have to bring out some stuff. They just brought out a new fresh batch of their rock salt bread. At the Asian bakery, you gotta grab a tray and some tongs, and then you Is just there a particular one you want? serve yourself. I like that one. Looks like it has a lot of mushrooms. Okay, you got it. This bakery though is famous for its rock salt bread, which they haven't they haven't put out a batch yet. And I think we're really early. Yep. This time we're too early. And I'm gonna try the chicken calzone like thing. Okay. Yeah. Pick one. Which one do you think looks the coolest? Hmm. This one looks big. <laughs> okay. We'll eat you up for breakfast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So we're in McDonald's now, which is right across from Peck, and one thing that's really interesting is, at least in East Asia, like South Korea and Taiwan, the McDonald's are so nice. I don't know if this is a mid cafe, but really nice design and atmosphere. Tim said that in Taiwan, you can't order burgers at McDonald's before 10.30 a.m., which is really interesting because I'm pretty sure in the States you could order it at any time. I guess it's healthier. You just got a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate has arrived. Good. Yeah. Looking at the shark fin stall. Yeah. This is a PSA. Yeah, I'm just not very excited right now. I'm just looking at all of the shark fins over here. Um, yeah, it's very popular in Taiwan. It's seen as a symbol a, of wealth and yeah, it's a delicacy. prosperity. But don't do it. Don't yeah. take it. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently every time or no when when a shark is killed for its fin, um, the whole shark will die, like it can't yeah. survive without its yeah. fin, but then none of its other parts are taken, yeah. it's just the fin. Basically they just fin the shark, they remove, remove about 5% of it, right, the fins, and then they release the, the shark back into the water. Yeah. 
so just that little package there is like more than two hundred dollars U.S. So beware if you're coming to Taiwan. Don't eat <laughs> Take a stand. So we're on the tenth floor of the Daiya Takashimaya department store. Yes, and that is where the church is located. Actually, that's really common in Taipei that mm. churches aren't in like traditional church buildings, but yeah. they're usually just on a floor of an Some office building, building or retail yeah. Yeah. building. But you could see the view here of Tianmu. It's really muggy today. Can't see the mountains at all really. Yeah. Okay, we've got round two. We've got sesame bun, cinnamon bun, and ooh, another one of these curry chicken, chicken curry time buns. zones. Yeah, no, these are so good. Great. We wanted to go to Taipei 101 today because that area is, there's a lot to do there. There's so many restaurants, there's a lot of shopping, but it's just it started, a fun area. Yeah, it's a super fun area, but it started raining again. Yeah. Um, so we decided we're going to Costco. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're gonna check it out. We're, we wanna have lunch there. We, we love Costco hot dogs. I heard Costco switched over from Coca-Cola to Pepsi now. Is that true? I don't know. We, we have to investigate. I'm okay. not surprised though. I mean, this might ruffle some feathers, but I have always been a Pepsi fan. Uh oh. Coke is always, it's just a little too strong for me. Oh, in your words. <laughs> You're in a Coke lover's Tim, car. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tim, when I met him, he drank so much Coke and so much coffee. We, the, we had a couple arguments about it. We were like, please stop drinking so much Coke. Please stop drinking so much coffee. Just drink green tea. Yeah, and I would be paranoid if you called me during the day. I'd be like, did you have any coffee today? <laughs> He's a lot better now. I, I'm proud of him because you know there are some people who have sort of a dependency on caffeinated beverages, but Tim was able to make a lifestyle change, which I think is for the better. But honestly, yeah, I'm just not a big soda person. I much prefer water, I think, because I don't drink enough water anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but I also like it. I, I don't think it's it tastes bad or anything. I mean, I guess it doesn't really have a taste, but I don't have any problems with that. Although, if you do, I... Um, I have seen that sometimes instead of putting lemon or lime in water, people will put cucumber slices. Have you ever done that? Uh, I've tasted it before. I want to try that. It sounds good. Kind of fresh taste. Yeah. But by far, not as good as a cup of coffee. Uh, <laughs> Taste-wise. It's debatable. Taste-wise. debatable. Taste-wise. Personal preference. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the Grand Hotel. It's really pretty. It's kind of like a landmark in Taipei. Yeah. It was, wasn't it created by, um, was it Chiang Kai-shek's wife? Madam. Yeah. Chiang Kai-shek is Chiang Kai basically yeah. the founder of Taiwan, the founding leader. His wife created it. It's a very historic hotel. It's really pretty on the inside. Oh, and it's in Shilin. Also on this road, there's Martyr's Shrine. Let's see. Oh, it's where those buses are, right? Yep, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's you here can on the see traffic circle. the gate here to Martyr's Shrine, and that's a really nice place to go if you're just visiting Taiwan as a tourist. They have a changing of the guard, um, and it is a shrine to people who have died fighting for an independent or a non-communist China, independent Taiwan. Depends on how you interpret, <laughs> interpret <it>. yeah, <laughs> the politics here. Oh, it's really coming down now. It's a rainy day in Taipei. Yeah. Oh, it's new. <laughs> so we're almost at the Costco. It's yep. in a neighborhood called Neihu. 
which is in the, is it the northeastern part of Taipei? And Tianmu, where we were this morning, is the northwestern part. Found, Found it! Okay, we're Good just going to, we're just going to find the way in. Okay. Get us some parking. It's crazy right. in here. Yep. Look at the... Taipei. There's the food court. It's so full. Oh my gosh. So packed. Going up? Going up. Oh my gosh. It's so crowded in here. This is the most crowded Costco I've ever seen. But there are lots of American and Kirkland products like Neutrogena, Cetaphil, like clothing section. It's just like so many people. Our cart is still empty. <laughs> this is so funny. They have a Costco size for Hello Panda crackers. <laughs> Fun seeing Asian brands here. They have Costco size um, Meiji Yan Yan. So cute. There's strawberry and chocolate flavored dips for biscuits. They found the milk we want, Kirkland soy milk vanilla flavor, but it's 625 NT, which is like 20 bucks. I How much would it be in the US? I think it's like, it's less than 15 for sure. So you are paying a bit more, yeah. but um, I mean, it's a lot of milk. Yep, indeed. Yeah. Goodbye, goodbye. Thanks. It's like half the size of my apartment. <laughs> yeah. By the people. We're now in a line to take the escalator downstairs. Yep. So crowded. Have you ever experienced that in the USA? Yeah, there's a really long line. Long word. <gasps> I found it. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> well, baby's got her kimchi. Yeah. She can't not have her kimchi. <laughs> Tim's looking for sausages. So crowded. So to me was right. It looks like Costco now stopped Pepsi. And you can see the stuff we got, not that much, but we spent just over a hundred US dollars. So Costco here is definitely more expensive. All the scooters. Oh, yeah. There's so many scooters and I'm like, what can you buy at Costco and then take home on a scooter? There's well, so if many. you can fit a whole family on a scooter. Yeah. Yeah. Three kids and a dog. That's true. Maybe. Then there must be a way. There must be a way. Yeah. Okay, Costco is crazy. I don't think I would want to come here often if uh, I lived in not Taipei. On, yeah, not on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, not on the weekend. And it's pretty expensive. So I guess if you know for sure that you're saving money by coming here or if there are products you have to have that, you know, are gonna soothe your homesickness, then it's worth coming here, but it's definitely pricey. Yeah. Hi. We are home now, just relaxing. We're watching Star Trek. Yep, because we want to go and watch the, the new one tomorrow. Yeah. Or sometime this week. I've never seen Star Trek before, not even the show. It was on yeah. TV when I was growing up, but I was never interested in sci-fi. So I have a lot to catch up on. But I know this. Live long and prosper. Little bubble heads. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>